Is it worth it to get those Markdown or Clarence Amaryllis? I got four of them, dollar each. Let's see. Hi, it's Kim. And today I have some Amaryllis to plant. This is way late for Amaryllis. However, I like them in the early spring to make me feel good. And I thought we're experimenting on some of these Markdown ones. I don't know if you can see this one. This one was a dollar. This one, also a dollar. They have been marked down. I, I'm not sure what they sold for originally. Five, maybe ten dollars. I don't know. I have these also, a white one and a pink one. And I'm going to plant these. They'll either grow or they won't grow. I've got this one open and you can see the bulb a little bit in a dried up situation, but we're gonna try and see what we can do with that. So here we go. Now I am going to plant in these containers, some glass containers, little pedestal, a little bit heavy. I think they'll work good because we do want something with a little bit of weight to it so it will help it when it starts to get a little top heavy. These don't have drainage. I grow a lot of my plants with no drainage. You just have to be careful of the amount of water you put in them. I'm used to that. If you're not used to that, don't plant yours in something with no drainage. But this is what I'm gonna do. I think this is gonna make a gorgeous presentation to have my amaryllis planted in some of this. Now these are just ones I had around the house I use them to elevate as saucers for my plants in the front windowsill and on some tables. It just makes a really nice saucer when you do have drainage. So you might want to try displaying yours like that also. But I just brought an assortment. I don't know which one of these is going to be the exact size that I want. Perhaps I can get more than one bulb in this giant one, but we're going to see what happens. So, here we go. Now here's the first one. It has a, the bulb. You can see the bulb and the kind of shape it's in. Looks a little bit worse for the wear. No sprouting as yet, but it'll just decay if we leave it lay in the box, throw it in the trash. It might decay if we leave it, put plant it in here, but who knows? If we get a plant, we get a plant. Now it typically comes with a pot and then one of these peat pellets. These peat pellets, you just add some warm water and that grows to, whew, makes a, a whole little pot full of soil. But I like to use my own soil. There's nothing wrong with that. Use it if you like, but I'm gonna use my own soil. I'll save the peat pot and these little plastic bottles which, or I'm sorry, pots, which don't have any drainage. I'll save those for something else. And again, this is a pink one. It calls it, let me see. Oh, it doesn't give it a name. I thought maybe it would have a name like, um, I don't know, Apple Spring, something like that. But let's just get that down here. And, okay, here's my bulb. I might be able to get three in that one. So let's try that and see how that works. make a mess. What else is new? We need to get a layer on the bottom. Okay, I've got that. 
And then I am going to include, of course, my systemic granules, the bonide systemic granules. These keep the gnats out of my house. It's, let me see, what's the dosage? In one gallon of potting soil, you would put two and a half tablespoons, according to the directions back here. So this is hardly a gallon. It may not even be a quart. So half a ta tablespoon should do it. I'm just gonna mix that in. And then put that out to the side. And then here is the pink one. I'm gonna set it up right in there. And I'll get the two red ones. Oh, look, look at this one. It's trying to sprout already. Look at that. We will just put him in here and see if we can get him to straighten up. He's trying his best. See, this particular kit had holes in the bottom of its pot, but the white one did not. Okay, it has the same peat pellet. I'll save that for some other plants. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this one in the box. Is that awesome? It is already trying to bloom in the box. Oh, that is so weird. Well, we're gonna put him in here and try to get him. Now these little guys are determined to grow. Look at that. It has two blooms at the top already. Okay, let's get it in here. And get some soil around it. Don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Okay, now, let me get more soil in. I'm probably gonna have a mess to clean up, but we plant people, we're used to that. Now with the amaryllis, of course, you don't cover the bulb. You leave the bulb exposed. like enough. Let me get it around the sides. Around this one. Make sure I cover up the root. And then this one that doesn't show any growth at all. We'll see how that works. Look at that. Is that strange? I've never opened one that's in bloom before. Now, let me put a few more pellets right on the top. There we go. And all we'll do is just water that and then see what happens. I wanna put him right out here in the sunlight Maybe the front window. His peat pellet we'll put to the side. And then the only other one I have, the fourth one, is a white one. Let's see what this has inside.
looks like he tried to send something out. He may be a lost cause, but we won't give up on him. We're going to try. Let me see, which one should I use? How about... How about... I think he would go deepest in this one. So let's put him in this one. Get the granules. We don't need a big bunch of gnats in the house. And I do believe that this protects my house from being overrun by gnats because I have so many plants in the house. We're going to have to do a plant tour one of these days. Since this is a different house, I think my last plant tour was at the old house in North Dayton and I hadn't even had a current plant tour from that house, much less the new one. I did on some old videos show you the move here, but I don't know if I, I might snip that off, but I'll need to get some cutters to do that. And then a little bit more, just a tiny bit. Don't want to overdose it. There. Now, there's my amaryllis. And I'll put a little bit of water in them. And we'll see what they look like. Here we go with some water. Just enough to moisten it. Same for these. Now, all we need to do is to let them do their thing. But I think it looks pretty good. Look how strange. Look at that. But we'll see if they stand up. I decided to put these two amaryllis, well, these four amaryllis in the front window. That's the west side of the house. This one kind of looks like a mud squirrel or something. And these two half circles that I have put also in the front window, they kind of laid right there on the surface of the windowsill almost at first. But it didn't take a day or so. I would think by even the following morning, they were off uh, from against the rim of that bowl. And then they were, uh, that evening, they were halfway up the side of the rim. The following day, I used one of my uh, moisture meters to prop into the soil to kind of give it a boost to hold it up. And by the next day, it was on its own. And the following day, standing upright. So yes, you can rescue these. I have some lovely amaryllis for one dollar each. The other two, I haven't seen any sign, signs yet of any sprouts, but we're sure gonna give them a chance because these guys are superheroes. They're determined to grow. Thanks for watching.